apathy. CT shit. What up, y'all? Big Chewy yeah. here. Any video, man. We here at the Hot 93 radio station, man. About to go interview DJ Buck. Big Chewy here. Any video. We here at the Hot 93 7 radio station out in Farmington. About to get those exclusive words with DJ Buck. Yes, sir. Stay tuned. Not just any video, but any video. Peace. CT whips, make CT chicks, shake CT hips. I love them little freaks, but them easy chicks got me paranoid of that VD shit. Uh, yeah, this is some CT. In the video. CT shit. Yeah, we on that CT shit. I'm just, I'm just glad to be here. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know how Connecticut would, would accept me. Because, yeah, you know, I'm not from Connecticut. I never claimed to be on the radio. I never claimed to be from Connecticut. I always say a problem with you guys. I know, I met a lot of people here. I met you, you know, yeah, yeah. you're being friends just from hanging out. And I just want to be that PD that's always going to be out there. And I know, like, a lot of local guys are not going to like me. But you got to get to know me and understand what I do here. Right? And I can give you some guidance. But I can, do, I can only do what I can do. Right? I can't make you a superstar. Sure. People put that in my hands. People say the reason why they are not stars is because of Hot 937 or me or Craig or KG. You know? Well, that's not necessarily fair to say. Because... You know, down south, they don't rely on the radio at all. Not at all. Not, Not at, at all. A whole different wicket. They, they, they told me that I was down in Florida one time at the Jacksonville Flea Market. And I seen Flo Rider out there selling his CD. It's I didn't know who he was mm -hmm. at the time. I didn't know who he was. He was down there selling his CD out there. Yeah. His stuff. Yeah. His stuff. His stuff. And some other rappers, too. I didn't even know who they were, but at the yeah. time, they, were, they didn't do sales. And it's a bigger market, too. I mean, Connecticut, we're kind of, we don't have to, you think it would be a luxury to be stuck between with Boston right here in New York. You think we'd have the luxury, yeah. but, we, but it's weird, and then we don't, and then we get stuck in Hartford and try to do our stuff just in Hartford. And New York is two hours away. Right. Go. Go to, go to all the events out there. So is Boston. Boston's right there. Go to the events. Don't depend on just Hartford. If you don't go to these events, they, they're accessible to you. Why wouldn't we go? Right. Well, what, let's, how much time is that? Do we got a few minutes? Go as long as you want. Oh, okay. I'll try. Well, um, when, when Power 104 came up, how did they, how did that shake things up a little bit when they came into the picture? I know they were syndicated a little bit different, but they came in. How, how did that how did that work with How 937? Um, when Power came, it just made us work harder. Yeah, you know, it made it made us just step up the game. You know, we never we never went at them. We never did. We just stayed course, but we worked harder. Mm -hmm. You know, our presence became more. We saw us a lot more, mm -hmm. and because there was a lot more of us, yeah. you know, that made the difference. There was a lot of us. Our street team was crazy. It seems yeah. like we came up large. We had more live jobs in the air, so we were everywhere. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Well, I mean, they, they did have a nice morning show too. I mean, you didn't feel any type of pressure with that with the morning show because this other guy was pretty big. You know, coming from he was coming from, and you being a morning show, you didn't feel any type of pressure. Like I had you didn't have the real okay, not low okay. I mean, he was there for a minute, but yeah. you know, I understand. It, it, just because he was in the building, don't mean you're in the neighborhood. Oh, you're in the hood. Yeah. True. Yeah. Right. He was in the play. You couldn't see him at the pro right. Yeah. You couldn't see him at the We've had the basketball game. Yeah. You, you couldn't see him at the toy drive. Yeah. You couldn't see him at the toy drive. You couldn't see him at community one day. You know, they had the right idea. Right. You know, but this is something we had been doing for a long time. Yeah. It's just, it takes more than just the idea. Right. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of, you know, you fall down your face sometimes, you get back up and get better. You know, we, we fell a few times. You know, you just get up. You know, you keep doing it. You know, personalities, you, for the most part, we get along, but we're a family. Yeah. So sometimes you'll hear, we might argue. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're a family. Yeah. We pick it up, we do it better. So. Buck, I gotta give it to you, man. I mean, you DJ at night. I mean, I see you DJ at night. You know, you go out, you are in the community, you are out at night. Uh -huh. And then you get right back up and go in the morning. Five o'clock. <laughs> I get it before 30. I don't know. I mean, I'm, how do you, how I don't do you sleep. Do it, man? I don't sleep a lot. Yeah. I sleep maybe three hours a night. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I think, if it wasn't for this music thing, whether yeah. I was a PD or not, mm -hmm. I would probably be a lot older than I am. Yeah. You know, I'm older than people think I am, but if it wasn't for that, I would be a lot older. I would be living a life style of someone mm -hmm. hanging at the 45 over club. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But that lifestyle, that's not my lifestyle. I understand, you know, yeah. But this music thing keeps me young. It just keeps me going. 
I'm, I'm so excited to get on the radio and just get the reaction of somebody. Because if something I say on the radio makes somebody laugh or makes somebody text you, you, you may text me, I'm like, damn, I'm doing a good job. Because yeah. someone is responding. Yeah. That's what it's all about, getting a response. Right. And making people think. You know, if I come to work and if I, if I have a chance to make one or two people say, hmm, or respond, I can go on for the rest of the day. My job is done. I understand. You know, I feel good about that. It's a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, I feel good yeah. about it. I mean, these, they're cool. Yeah. I got a lot of, I got a bunch of plaques in it, but they're cool, but that does, that's not what I do it for. Yeah. You know, just to touch people and get the reaction from people. It's your passion. Yeah, take yeah. this stuff away. I still do it. Yeah. You know, I go to the club. I don't have to do the clubs. Right. It's like, dude, it's like it's a hobby. That's how you started. You That's how I started. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Be on the lookout for that old school party, too, coming soon. I called it. We talked about it. It's coming soon. Stay tuned. It's coming real yeah, soon. Yeah, real yeah. soon. We need that old school, man. Right? <laughs> definitely, definitely. The old school night, the old school nine o'clock block. Now, a lot of people love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I got, I like Connecticut. I mean, a lot of yeah. cats with Super Joe. I've learned yeah. a lot from him since I've been yeah. here. He okay. tells me stories. You got True. I mean, he, he tells me yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people tell me what's been going on before I got here. And so I, 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 I try to learn that. Even this here in New Haven, I meet people who are embedded in the community and tell me about this. So when I go on the radio and talk about it, I don't know what I'm talking about. Exactly. You know, yeah. so it's kind of cool. You know, listening to you at the pro, down the program, end, <laughs> different players, yeah. and Pete Higgins making up stats for players. <laughs> Pete Higgins, man, the statistician, the statistician man. The human statistician, man. Stats, man. Boy. He ain't never keep no binder, no nothing, no. man. He know every single stat on every player, man. And some of them ain't true, Pete. Yeah. Some of them ain't true, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> but they sound good. They sound real good, man. But uh, other than that, Buck, anything, anything you can share, or any words of advice of anybody who might be looking to get into the music industry, as far as like the radio, mm -hmm. and there's different avenues. I mean, everyone wants to be a hip hop artist, mm -hmm. but what other avenues could people get into, like, you know, in regards to the radio? Mm -hmm. Journalists, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of people want to get on the radio just um, a hip hop and R&B station. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do radio, be, be able to get into it for any format. Mm. Any other be pop, rock, whatever, or talk, because that was the doors for you. Got you got Nancy who's been here. Nancy's one of, the, one of the people who can go anywhere right now. Mm -hmm. She can go to TIC, mm -hmm. she can go to RSH Talk, right. and she's just that good. Right. You know, just be, be open to all types of music. Don't come in with the one set of minds saying, I just want to do hip hop. Mm -hmm. No, look at that. Be good at it. Be able to multitask, because radio is coming down like everything else. I, I do the job with four or five people. Mm -hmm. Change it to the job with three people. Wow. You know, and that just cuts down. We're one, we're one of the few stations that have people on the air live. Other stations across the country, they have voice track. The PD was voice track. I would be on the air right now. Yeah, I'm on that CT. Like praying you come.